2017 is the present, but soon no longer, for 2018 is upon us. The and future. The, the future. Well, soon it'll be the present. That's the weird thing about time, is it keeps just coming at you. Uh, but I wanted to think about some of the things uh, that are going to be landing on the web in 2018, and I wanted to try and describe one of them to you uh, for you asking questions in two minutes. I want to talk about the Fetch Observer. The Fetch Observer. Does it have to do with actual fetch? Yes, it does. Does it observe fetches? Yes, it does. How? Uh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> through, like, through web specs that we have yet to write, <laughs> which I is part of, this is uh, uh, right now. It's just an API uh, kind of sketch of what this will okay. look like. But which problem does it solve? Uh, the problem of I want to observe fetches. How can I do that? Um, but what exactly do you want to observe? Because you can usually already know when it's done, right? Right. So it's mostly about all of the stuff that happens in between. OK. So what happens in between? Um, well, things like uh, you know, it's connecting to the mm. server. It's connected. It's waiting for headers. Uh, it has okay. headers. And then things like uh, well, there'll be, there'll be uh, upload progress, okay. download progress. Oh, that's good. And, like, and those two things can, can happen at the same time, which I didn't know. You can be uploading while you're downloading. This will <laughs> give you that piece of information. And it will be like a separate object, so you can sort of you can pass that to like another piece of code so they can observe the fetch without oh. any having any control over it. So could I so I, I do a fetch in my service worker. Mm -hmm. Like let's say a download for a bigger file, bigger asset. Can I take out the the observer, pass it to the main thread, and have a UI update mm. kinda like but that, that's one of the things that probably are going to happen. You want to download something in the service worker in the background, but have a UI that updates in real time and with the progress. That's exciting. That will probably be V2. Um, <laughs> but it might be V2 that actually happens, because it's, a, it's a good use case. But you will also, if you're um, sending that to uh, the page, then you'll definitely be able to get it from the fetch observer from the page side. Okay. So, And it's also where we can start adding extra bits of observation, mm -hmm. such as observing push, like H2 push. Oh, that's interesting, because so far, you don't know when something gets pushed. Nope. So the idea is we could have on this fetch observer an event that says, like, oh, you've been given this. Do you want it? Uh, and that'll be your, you know, you'll have a, a way to sort of consume it and bring that uh, through the network into a promise. I'm really excited about that. Cool. The import function. OK, so it's, it's a function. Well, technically, no, but that's a difference. What? You've already lied to me in one of the words you I just said. I know. <laughs>